Many practices from the old days are beginning to resurface as the masses abandon their present cultures and religions. Some habits die hard or not at all. Within all this, however, there is some nuance that we can hold on to. In pursuit of that, I'll ask this question. What's the difference between ancestors and deities? The practice of ancestor work is both widely held and accepted, as well as quite wide in its scope of various expressions. From practices such as ancestor veneration, generational curse cleansing, to outright necromancy in full. Depending on who you ask, the how to do it can vary quite widely, although the fundamentals tend to stay the same. As far as beginner practices are concerned, Working with ancestors is a great way to get started on the path of working non-physically from the perspective of having and living a physical life. I would say that this is mostly the case because of the proximal nature of ancestors to your own physical life. Said differently, ancestor work is a good beginner practice because men and women living a physical life are much more accustomed to those who have lived physical lives than they are with outright deities who have never lived a physical life at all. Where things seem to get a bit more complex for most initiates is shifting from working with ancestors to ever getting around to working with any deity specifically. Some have never done it at all, and others see the jump as so strikingly different that they don't quite know how to make the shift. Here's the thing though, ancestors are deities. A deity put as simple as can be, is a being that is non-physical. All physical beings are an outward expression of a non-physical reality, although not always on a one-to-one -one basis. The details of this can get complicated and confusing, but that is usually only a result of inadequate framing of the self. Said differently, how you see yourself will affect your capacity to see anything else, including ancestors and other deities. Knowing the line between, or the difference between, the physical and non-physical will make this work much simpler. Not to mention the fact that if what you is, isn't the body, your ancestor work doesn't need to be limited to the lineage of your physical body. I would suggest that you outright wake the dead when you need assistance navigating or handling the experiences of physical life. For me and the clients I work with, I explain it like this. Ancestors are the deities of physical life. The same way you can have a deity of the trees or a deity of the crossroads. By that same respect, ancestors are the deities of physical life. If you are having an issue with your rent, Ogun won't be of much help, seeing as how he has never had to pay rent. If you are having an issue with driving, Jesus taking the wheel won't be of much help either, seeing as how he only ever rode a donkey. The spirit or personality of your Aunt Betty has lived this life, so what to do with or about rent is somewhat more in her jurisdiction. Your Grandpa Jim had to deal with juggling multiple women, two jobs, and car problems. I would call him about physical life, before I called Zeus. The same way it wouldn't make much sense to ask Mother Kali about growing plants as opposed to killing and drinking blood, or how little sense it would make to ask Lucifer about changing an alternator or choosing the correct dish for dinner. The ancestors are those who have experienced living physical life, and as such, are the best suited to not only assist in such issues, but most fit to handle them outright. In conclusion, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is somewhat of a trick question. When I work with my clients, I almost always start them out on some form of ancestor work to get the gears turning, whether you need to feed them, have their picture up somewhere, or even speak to them, it's up to the framing of you and your psyche. How you decide to do it isn't the issue. The issue is whether or not you do decide to do it. As always, 
You get results based on what you do and not what you're meant to do.